morning, my name is Dr. Simona Bartos and I want to welcome you to my practice. I normally get to the office around 8.30 and I want to get ready for the day. I check my schedule, I really pull up every patient to familiarize myself with their previous medical problems. Then I go in and I look at all of the labs and pathology reports that came in in the last day and I write a disposition for the nurse to be able to call the patient and let them know what we need to do. All right, it's nine o'clock and it's time to go see our first patients. I like to block my mornings for medical and surgical cases so that I can get into a nice rhythm them where everybody does the same thing and in the afternoon we try to do cosmetics. As I get ready for the day, my awesome staff also calls the patients, confirms the schedule, checks all the notes, stocks the room, and gets everybody ready for the day. The patient that was supposed to come, is he late? Is he not coming? Yes. Monica, would you mind calling him to him. see? He's usually very punctual. This morning, we had a very interesting case. We had a young patient with a lipoma on the side of the face, and that's pretty unusual for the general population. But in his case, because he's a professional boxer, I think the repeated trauma caused the lipoma formation. So we proceeded to remove it surgically, which simply means we made a small cut and dug out the tumor itself. But because the scalp is so vascular, every time you hit a small blood vessel, it bleeds and squirts across the room. So uh, the challenge was, of course, to stop the bleeding through the small, tiny hole that I made for his lipoma removal. So the differential is lipoma versus soft tissue tumor, both for the one in the front for the path and for the ultrasound of the one on the back, okay? to check on his dressing. What we want to do for the neoplasm in the back of his head, we want to order an ultrasound to see what it is. So our differential diagnosis will be lipoma versus soft tissue neoplasm, such as a sarcoma. So that was challenging. It took about half an hour, but we got it done and sent him home with a nice turban wrap to make sure he doesn't bleed while he's at home. It's about 9.30 and I'm about to do a full body check. We love to do mole checks because you may have 50 moles on your back that you cannot see and you can't tell which one is normal and which one is not. So we are very passionate here about diagnosing and monitoring every mole to see if it has to be biopsied, if it has to be removed, or if it's completely benign and you have nothing to worry about. With this little instrument called a dermatoscope, we can actually look under the skin to see the structures that are present in your mole. And we can tell based on their architecture if they are benign or if they are malignant. Most importantly, I decide if I need to take a biopsy or if I can leave it alone. And I am proud to say that I'm a fellowship trained dermoscopist, which means I spent a whole year learning how to diagnose pigmented lesions with this little instrument, when most physicians will take a lot of biopsies to make sure that a mole is benign, we can tell with 99% accuracy whether something is benign or malignant. Whenever we check somebody's moles, we want to make sure that they're all uniform and they all look the same. That's what we call having a signature mole. Once we decide what their moles look like, then when we see a different looking one, uh, which we call the ugly duckling sign, we pay close attention to them. It's very important to look between the toes because you can have a melanoma hiding between your toes. Now go ahead and turn on your side. Very nice. Um, we have a little wart here and we're gonna scrape off the skin that's on top of it so that we can freeze it with the liquid nitrogen. Quick look in the scalp, make sure it's all clean. So you really check every inch of the body, huh? Yep, you got skin, I wanna see it. Look up at the sky, look up and look down and open your mouth. You gotta check the oral mucosa. Ah. Very good. What are you looking at, doctor? This last patient that I had, I have a strong suspicion that she has scabies. She has this itchy bumps on her abdomen and her legs, but most importantly between her finger webs. Let's look for those scabes. <laughs> 
here at Imperial Dermatology, we do it all. Whether you are a teenager with acne, or you want your moles checked, whether you want cosmetics such as Botox, fillers, or Morpheus A treatments, we can take care of everything for you. We see children, adults, and the elderly. I love all of my patients, and I equally enjoy the medical, the surgical, as well as the cosmetic procedures. My stomach is grumbling, and it's that time. Let's go to lunch. What do you normally get for lunch, doctor? Panera bread, <laughs> unfortunately, every single day. Just walk across the street and get the Frontega chicken with some wild rice soup. Our favorite wrap brings in the goodies. Oh, how cute! La Roche Posay and Cerave. Do you want to install them? More chairs. Do you want to install them on the the waiting room on the carpet, or you want to work back here? What do you have there, Rachel? Samples, free samples. This afternoon's lineup consists of a cosmetic consult for a new patient. We have a laser hair removal as well as an IPL laser, which removes the brown spots on your body. And I will be closing the day with a Sculptra follow-up. This patient had two vials about a month ago, and today is their last vial injection. And lastly, we have a Morpheus 8 body where we remodel a surgical scar of a patient that had a C-section that did not heal very well. Perks of being the doctor's daughter and working here, I get to do a bunch of procedures to myself. So today I am doing my laser hair removal on my arms and my underarms, and I'm going in with some numbing cream. Since our laser is super strong with our Inmo device, we often numb the patients just because it's more comfortable. The numbing cream goes on for about 20 or 30 minutes, and then we're ready to roll. So since I need to continue working as I'm numbing, she's gonna gonna put saran wrap over my body so that I don't like get people numbed by touching them like a baked potato. Well done. <laughs> back to work. It's getting real She's hard. like, okay, back to work. This is what we're actually doing at lunch. Two oh, careful. Is that okay? Oh, I'm heavy. Strong woman. So we're gonna have Karan, our summer intern, put them together. Nice. One more. It's like great. <laughs> downtime we like to do funny tiktoks and videos and pictures and just goof around and have fun i think it's a good team building exercise and we lighten the mood by doing that like oh we're God. crazy running around like some people need to be on computers some people need to be running around i want to uh, <laughs> go don't hit <laughs> <laughs> that's my And just like that, the day is over. At the end of the day, I finish signing any notes, I look at any labs, any pathology reports that may have come in the last couple of hours. And as I get ready for tomorrow, I celebrate another successful day. Cheers! Well, thank you for hanging out with me today. <laughs> what do I say? Please subscribe. Well, thank you for hanging out with me today. I enjoyed having you along. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. What's your night routine like? What do you do after work? Um, I will probably hit the gym and then go home and cook some dinner for my hubby. Aww. Wait, wait, wait. Are you taking new patients? Of course we are. How can we find you? Wait, the rooster. Wait, wait, wait. Are you taking new patients? Of course we are. Where can people find you? imperialdermatology.com or you can call us at 954-516-0722 also if you live far from south florida we can do a teledermatology visit thank you bye, bye.